all right hey everybody um i'm pseudo back it's been like a week since i had a week and a few days since i had my surgery and i'm a little still kind of tired all the time and i want to thank everybody for their well wishes and um we're slowly slowly but surely getting there um if you're interested i have already lost i think 30 pounds so we're getting there it's just i'm tired all the time so but i wanted to send, send a thank you for that but as you see that's not what this is about it's about lolita vlog time and i wanted to touch on a topic that just hit the lolita community within the past couple days and uh, there's just so this is such a hot button issue it's, it's a serious hot button issue but i wanted one i want to state publicly that I want to stand by Tyler Willis of Scarf and Scarves and Last Week Lolita News because she was just disseminating information and her video that disseminated said information was given a copyright flag on YouTube. Look, I, I don't necessarily blame YouTube in all of this. They're just trying to cover their ass. So they get wind of something that somebody doesn't like they're not going to look into it they pretty much tell you if you read if you look at the screenshot that um miss willis posts it basically tells you that you're on your as a content creator and you get a copyright strike you're on your fucking own you don't get any support from youtube and you might end up in court and you might end up losing and basically we don't give two fucks we just try to make sure we don't get sued so they're a business. They're going to cover their ass any way they can. I do not fault YouTube. Like, there is some... They need to have a better system of copyright strikes. And so, others can't abuse it. But, that's not going to happen. They have no incentive to do such. So, I just want to state formally that I have a civil lawyer on, on retainer. So, I have no problem with going to court. If I have to, especially I don't use screenshots. I don't use, I might, I used a soundbite recently, but I didn't have any screenshots or anything. So, and they can't say it was defamation because what they said was what they said. So, but yeah, I have a civil attorney on retainer. So <laughs> you want to step to me, we, we can fucking step, but, um, so I wanted to give my support to Miss Willis and Scarfing Scarves and last week Lolita News because she what she did was was not worth a fucking copyright strike. So the crux of all of this, how this all began, began with her telling about a collaboration with another YouTuber named Kathy Cat and Kathy Cat's collaboration with Yes Japan or Yes or Yes Jap Yes Japan or Yes Japanese or and kawaii pantene full disclosure up until yesterday i had a, a subscription to kawaii pantene and after they did that i was like no nah. click unsubscribe so <laughs> that just goes to show you where my moral compass is that what they did was wrong and i can't condone you know being a part of something that's willing to silence a whole host of people not just miss willis so fuck that so i don't gotta watch your shit and not to sound like i'm backpedaling or anything i do not remember the last time i fucking watched their channel either so that was just an addition but either way you cut it the way they handled this situation i felt warranted me not supporting it because fuck that i ain't got time for it come to find out that kathy cat is a friend of anime matsuri and, and as Japan and all all its little proxies are are always promoting Anime Matsuri. And Anime Matsuri is a Pandora's box of fucked upness that I can't even begin to... I don't like wading through controversies. <laughs> My best friend, she loves internet controversies. I don't like wading through them because it's, it's just a cesspool of just fucked up this and just like you just shaking your head and then bashing it against the wall till you get into a nice cozy sleep so i 
took it upon myself to do a little bit of due diligence. Like, I, could, I had the worst insomnia this morning. And I woke up at 3 o'clock and couldn't go back to sleep. So I was like, well, what is this controversy with, with this young lady and this convention and all of it? What is it all tying into? A quick Google search. Literally, they had the first four. The fourth thing was anime Matsuri controversies. If that's in your top five in a search engine, you have got some serious fucking problems that you need to hire a very good PR firm to deal with because that shouldn't be. It should be, what does it cost? Where is it located? I think it was, what does it cost to attend? Where is it located? Hotels or something? And then controversies. It should be like attendance numbers and then cosplay winners. I've gone to enough cons to know those are the things that, that's the kind of publicity you want for your convention. Not an endless cesspool of people allegedly not getting paid. People allegedly getting bilked out of like hundreds and thousands of dollars. And the most egregious of all is sexual harassment of underage women and women as a whole. And if you want proof of this, a little ounce of digging into the con what you click on the controversies the first thing to pop up is this article by the Houston Press from June 29th 2015 by Jeff Rohner it states anime Matsuri organizer accused of sexual harassment I know you can't really see that there you go and the first paragraph read hold on yeah the first paragraph reads as such Quote, multiple women have come forward online in the past month to accuse John Lay, the event manager of Anime Matsuri Convention, of sexual harassment and inappropriate sexual conduct. Anime Matsuri is one of the ten largest anime conventions in America and is an annual celebration of Japanese pop culture, fashion, and art. People travel from all over the world to attend since it began in 2007 but its image has recently been darkened by a string of blogs and online posts from women who claim John Lay's behavior toward them is overtly sexual and unwanted, particularly from a married man and a father. Okay, if you want to be a, a cheater, honestly, there's no reason for it. If you want to not be in a relationship with your significant other, just own up and get a damn divorce. That's just for openers. Why you got the sleeves around and should be cheating on somebody behind their back? That's, and trust me, that's a minimal complaint. A very, very minuscule complaint in the grand scheme of the sleeves that is in this article. It goes on to state that young girls were being harassed, asked to, for their nude pictures, and just all kinds of vile, disgusting, lurid things that no human being should ever ask anybody underage at any point in, in, in history. And just, I'm flo fucking floored. So, more or less, the reason why people are so pissed off with, with, with this Kathy Cat girl is because she continues to have a, quote, friendship and relationship with this anime Matsuri guy. Look, that is her choice. I'm not saying it's a wise choice, but that's her choice. You get in a bed with a rattlesnake, and the rattlesnake fucking bites you. You can't get pissed off with the rattlesnake. You knew what you, what you was getting into when you got in the bed and was like, fuck it, I'm gonna get in the bed, and the rattlesnake fucking bit you. Now, whether or not any abuse or misconduct will happen between them, I don't know. I'm not fucking psychic. I don't know. I won't profess to know, but <sighs> look, the only thing I can say is you don't have to support any of these people. You don't have to go to a website. You don't have to go to a convention. You don't have to go to a shop. There's plenty of other places to purchase Lolita wares. This girl is hawking a t-shirt. This is alright looking. It doesn't look like anything you can get out of fucking, I don't know, Forever 21. It looked like anything you pick up out of Forever 21. It done, it's not all like that. So, seriously, no. You don't have to 
lend support to any of this shit. If you find all these actions repugnant and egregious as I do, here's what you want to do. Unsubscribe to them. Do not follow them on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest. Don't follow them at all on any social media. Block them from things. Speak out against the things that you hear. Um, listen to the stories and support the people who have been adversely affected by all of this. And again, don't give them money. Anytime you go to their channel and watch one of their videos, it has, I'm sure, it's monetized. So anytime you don't go to that site and you don't look at the, like, the ads automatically pop up. So anytime you don't do that, you're not supporting them. By not going to that shop, that's hitting them where it hurts, right in the fucking pocket. And sometimes people need to be hitting their fucking pocket. I know it's tempting because I have seen pictures of Anime Matsuri before I knew about all this sea of just depravity. And the pictures indeed are gorgeous, but who are you supporting in all of this? That's what you really need to ask. Who are you supporting? What are you supporting? You're supporting the enabling of a man to be disgusting to, to a whole group of human beings. And I'm not going to speak for his wife because she's, it's been out that she's an enabler and whatever. That's, that's her deal. That's her responsibility. That's stuff that she has to live with. And yet again, you get in a bed with a rattlesnake and it fucking bites you. I don't know what the fuck to tell you. So uh, this whole thing is just abhorrent on a level that I cannot even comprehend. After reading all this stuff, I feel sickened by all of it. And the fact that a Japanese-supported channel decided that they wanted to, to literally bully and fucking shake down a, web, a, a YouTube page that doesn't even have half the subscribership that they do shows how fucking thin and petty they are and they deserve not to be subscribed to. So... Drop them motherfuckers and just keep it moving. There's a lot of other resources other than them and their enabling asses that you can go to that is far better and far less exploitive than them. So if they don't want to listen to people and they want to support this dude and whatever, let them do, let the babies have their bottle. But the rest of us, we if we have a moral compass we want to stand by, I say stand by it. Stand by Miss Willis, stand by Scarfing Scarves, and last week they'll lead the news, and let's keep it the fuck moving, because they are not the only game in town. So, I'm so tired. That is all I have, and I, I, I'm just floored by all of this. Like, a fucking entire legion, a fucking company is gonna fucking shake down a young woman who's not nearly as big as them are you are a special brand of fucking moron so i hope you lose your entire subscribership because that would just be just such just desserts but it change starts with each and every one of us so let the change begin that is all i have and i will see y'all next time